Some Rite Aid stores in Manhattan are closing following an uptick in shoplifting. But rather than close, CBS 2's Alice Gaynor tells us another store chain is doing something else to deal with the problem. Though the 30 Gristides and D'Agostino supermarkets in New York City have seen a significant increase in shoplifting, Chairman and CEO John Katsimatidis says he won't close any. He's just upping security. We are hiring more and more security. We hired a lot of retired cops. Some businesses tell their employees not to confront shoplifters, but Katsimatidis is taking a different approach. You want to stay in business? You want to keep the store open? Do what you have to do. Just last month, the store manager here at 40th and 2nd says he went up to a guy stealing more than 70 pints of ice cream. I fought with the guy. I grabbed the bag. The handle broke. And he realized that he can win, so he ran out. Chris Paleophilus has been with the company for more than 40 years. In the past, he says would be thieves felt threatened by a call to police. Now, for the police, I don't care what they're going to do to me. So that's why they leave. They come back, they leave, they come back. There's been an outcry for Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg to do something. On Wednesday, he addressed the issue with the Association for a Better New York, saying he's working with his newly formed Small Business Alliance to brainstorm solutions regarding repeat offenders. Someone is, you know, taking, you know, $200 from, you know, four stores and sort of going along, uh, for lack of a better word, their route, um, you know, being able to aggregate that conduct so it can be charged at a higher level. Um, is, is something that we've been talking talking to retailers about, um, you know, the charge then being more significant. NYPD data shows citywide retail theft complaints that include pettit larcenies, grand larcenies, and robberies that initially began as shoplifting are up more than 11,000 in 2021 from 2020 and nearly 6,000 from 2019. District Manager Kevin Jordan says meat remains one of the top stolen items along with haagen ice cream. Those are the hot ones, Dove soap, Tide. He says thieves have also been swiping things like olive oil, basically anything that's considered more expensive. They say they're opting not to lock up items like you see drugstores doing, instead placing cosmetics and Tylenol behind the counter. In Murray Hill, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News.